So anyway, if you are new here, or even if you're not new and you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and leave a comment below and give this video a thumbs up. As you can tell, guys, we got a lot of commotion going on. If you don't know by now, we are dysfunctional over here. This is real life. The boys are playing with all their toys, y'all. It's toys everywhere. It's like driving me insane. But anyway, guys, it's vacation week. So you know what that means, y'all. In a few days, we are going down to Florida. I'm so excited. I feel like that's like our second home. But I've tried to get Justin to like, let's just move to Florida. But, babe, why you don't wanna move to Florida? Yeah. Y'all can't hear him because the boys are like riding on all these cars and are so loud. Um, but yeah, so Florida is like a second home to us guys. We always go down to Florida. Uh, we're like about five and a half hours or so from um, Orlando. So we go down there like quite frequently. Um, and so we are going down there for the new year. So I'm so excited guys. I need a vacation. Like Christmas is supposed to be relaxing. But it's really not relaxing when you think about it because you're on go like 24 seven. What are you doing, babe? Oh yeah, Justin has to take back those uh, my house shoes, y'all. If you have not watched that vlog, go ahead and watch the um, Happy Holidays vlog, y'all, so y'all can see Justin buying me my slip. He oh, just so give, let me give a disclaimer. Um, that was not the only gift Justin got me, y'all. I got some Uggs, I got some Nikes, I got some, um, and then I got my house slippers, and I got a few more things. So don't think that's the only thing he got me. But it was just funny because. He was like, oh, well, why don't these fit? And I'm like, well, these are seven, eight. And he was like, well, the Uggs I bought you are an eight. And I'm like, oh yeah, because the Uggs are, they run a little bit bigger, they have a little bit more room. So he is gonna be taking that, um, my little house slippers back and getting me, what size you say? <laughs> I don't need no 10. I don't need a 10. I don't need a 10. Be like, I wear the same size he wears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is not good. Right, you ain't you ain't eating tonight. He ain't no dinner, y'all. He ain't eating no dinner in the, over here tonight. He talking about some. He talking about some. I put all my the bottom of the foot hanging out of this shoe. meal maybe tomorrow or the next day I don't know uh, we still got left we still got Christmas leftovers so my mom didn't forget all the food but she did forget a lot of the food that she had um, made she forgot in Alabama but we still have some stuff y'all I'm gonna just show y'all this clutter because this is crazy let me know if y'all's house is looking like this with the toys y'all look at this look at this so and they look at that y'all but I will say, every night before they go to bed, our boys know you will clean up this mess. We don't go to bed with the house looking in a disarray. Jace is upset. He just woke up from his nap. And Justin is about to try his liquor chocolate. Which one is that? Kirsch? Kirsch? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's literally got liquor in the inside. 
Wow. Okay. Like a shot, huh? Filled with chocolate. Do it taste good together? With the cognac? Which one is this? Y'all, so I'm gonna try the cognac chocolate. Let's see. Let's see. Which one you got? Justin got the champagne one. Alright y'all, this is it. Chocolate. I like it. Mm -hmm. It makes it to where the liquor's not like strong and like too overpowering. And it's really just such a small, tiny amount of the liquor. Mmm, I like it, y'all. It's good. So, yes to the chocolate filled with liquor, honey. The boys are over here knocked out, guys. And they still have to get their bath. They are so tired. Look at this, y'all. Oh, my baby. Yeah. Y'all, they are wore out. Do you hear me? Completely wore out. I'm about to go upstairs really quickly. I think Justin is um, running their bath water, but I'm just gonna double check, guys. So y'all, so this is completely, completely random. But I have this um, aluminum-free deodorant from Secret. So I was doing my research on deodorants, right? And I was seeing, I was, I saw where they were linking like aluminum and a lot of stuff that's found in deodorant to cancer. So I called myself being like, you know, let me get some aluminum free deodorant, y'all. This does not give me any kind of protection. Like I'm literally having to reapply it. And I'm like, I never have a problem with like odor, but this does not, this here does not does not give me my the protection. So, y'all, I like I do like Dove and I do like Secret. Um, but the store didn't have Secret, um, like the regular Secret. So I just ended up getting some Dove um, powder. Y'all had to go back to the basics because listen, this this was not working. But if you do have like aluminum free deodorant that you use, leave a comment below and let me know what kind you use. If it's this, I don't want it. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, cause this, and then this says 48 hour odor protection deodorant. And I don't know, it could just be me. Like, you know how you can like, you know your scent, if that makes sense. So I could just be over dramatic or whatever, but I just felt like it didn't give me the protect, the protection that I wanted. And you know, when you're running around with kids all day, you know, you need to be protected, especially because at the time, like, you know, I'm trying to get back into my workouts and all of that. So, you bringing the boys upstairs? Yeah. The water's already ran? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, guys. So, Justin is going to bring the boys up here. And I'm honestly relaxing, guys. Like, I am relaxing. Well, I just noticed y'all can see my shadow back there. But anyway, yeah, guys, I'm relaxing. I had a long day today. Um, if you watched <laughs> the last vlog, or no, if you watched the the holiday vlog i talked about we were going to be pulling up to the daycare to see if they were open or not y'all the daycare is indeed closed um so we did pull up on the daycare um but the daycare was closed so so the boys teacher knew what she was talking about which is fine um they were actually like really good today which was a good thing um but now since they're getting a little bit bigger they're almost three um, they're going to be moving up to the next class. So one of the things that we've been talking about is, um, well, Justin and I actually had talked about it before. Like when we were pregnant with the twins, we had talked about, you know, making sure that they weren't in the same classrooms the whole time. And even when we talked about it, like Justin would be like, well, we just need to see how their personalities are, which it, it does make sense because, you know, some kids don't depend on each other. Some do. Um, and so my thing was, is I just want them to have their own friends. And I just didn't want them to have to de like, feel so dependent on each other because it's a lot to you know wake up with somebody you know go to bed with somebody you eat with them you're in the same you know it's just like you never have a break to yourself and so 
when we started at this new daycare, you know, we were like, okay, when they do transition up to like an older classroom, we just want to make sure that they can be in separate classrooms. And um, thankfully, the director of the school is very supportive of that um, because eventually when they go to grade school, some schools, like I know, I know a principal here in Georgia where they do not put siblings, twins, or anything like that in the same class. Now there are some schools, depending on the district or the principal, that will allow that. Um, but for me, I just want them to, I'm sorry, y'all hear the background noise. I just want them to have their own friends. I want them to have their own identity. Um, one thing I do notice is that sometimes, and even their current teacher said that sometimes they will just play with each other and they're like, no, I don't, I don't want to play with nobody else. I just want to play with my brother. And I really just want them to, you know, have their own friends, which they do. They do really well. And the daycare, uh, their teacher told us they do so well playing um, separately um, as well as playing together and playing with other kids, which is very important to us. So we'll see, but I do know that they're since they are going to be transitioning to the older classroom, um, they'll be able to be separate, separated in two different classes. So I'm really excited to see how that turns out. I'm really excited to see if it's going to work out. I mean, the good news is, is that um, the, the director even said, you know, we'll give it a go, see how it goes. And if they're not ready, then we'll keep putting them back together. So fingers crossed guys fingers crossed you know i just want them to have their own identity um and so forth and i know like i know we dress them alike right now but that's just for ease um i'm not like steadfast on they have to be dressed alike but there has been times where one of the like jace or Jalen may say no mom i don't mommy i don't want to wear that and i'm like okay let's put on something else so um when I'm picking it out in the morning, typically I do pick out the same outfit, but if they're not feeling it and they tell me they don't want to wear it, then I put them on something different and they just don't wear the same stuff at school together. So it is what it is. But y'all, what do you guys have planned? Y'all, I hear, I hear somebody crying. That's Jace crying. I know he's crying. He's tired. He don't want to get a bath, but listen, them booties is, whoo, they need to soak in some water, okay? But anyway, guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys are planning on doing for the new year. Like, what are y'all doing? Are y'all going to be watching fireworks? Are y'all going out with friends? Are you hanging out with family? Are y'all staying in and cooking based on the pandemic? Like, what are you guys doing um, for the new year? Like I said before, um, I, think I, I think I talked about it earlier in the vlog. Like, Justin and I um, and our twins and our sons, our little, our cute boys, um, we're all going down to Florida um, for the new year. And we're just going to hang out, you know? We, we... Typically, actually, we always stay at resorts when we go down to Florida, um, and we just chill. Like, sometimes we'll do the parks, sometimes we won't do the parks. It just depends. I hear somebody coming up the stairs. Oh, Justin tag teaming them. Y'all, here he go. He got both boys. Y'all, he has both boys. But yeah guys so leave a comment below let me know what you guys have planned for the new year give me some ideas give me some things that you guys are doing with your toddlers you know we need we need we need kid friendly activities guys um especially activities when we're gonna be like out on the road like not really out on the road but we're gonna be in florida so we're not gonna be at home so we can't really you know i mean i guess we could do like cookie decorating not listen we're not doing none of that <laughs> <laughs> but anyway thank you guys for tuning in thank you guys for hanging with the fam i really appreciate you guys justin appreciates you guys we just can't believe how much easier it is to go around it's like crazy it seems surreal um but again if you are new to this channel or even if you're not new and you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button guys go ahead and leave a comment below and give this video a thumbs up we will check you guys in the next video